the widely shared video published by the Punch Paper Online, Nasser Erufai, the former governor of Kaduna State, described how the they handled the problem of tribalism and religion in Nigeria policies while speaking with a group of individuals. He asserted that the first action they took was to endorse the idea that power should move to the west, southwest, rather than remain in the north. And as a result, they backed Tinumbu. He continued by saying that the next stage was to address the issue of tribalism and religion. And that, and that during this time, Professor Ishak Akitola from Lagos State arrived as they were discussing how Tinumbu would win. Professor Ishak Akitola alleged, allegedly advised them that the Southwest geopolitical zone has an issue, according to Erufai. Professor Akitola told us Yoruba people in the Southwest have one issue when he visited us. The man recalled he claimed that their Muslim cannot run for office and win, that a Christian must come from the Southwest and that he will choose his Muslim running com uh, companion from the north. He claimed that it had never occurred since the reign of Abiola. Air Rufai continued, saying Professor Akintola told them that they wanted a Muslim from the southwest to win, and E. Air Rufai told them to bring the person, adding that Sinubu eventually emerged as the flag bearer. Additionally, they were aware that he would have to appoint Muslim as his vice president in the north because he knew that with a northern Christian, Itinubu cannot win the election. So, let's see how this one. Let's see how they... So, every five is not telling us that, oh, me could not tell me say now nah, because of me. Oh. Mm. And I'm talking about So, at least now they are exposing themselves. Okay, the midget is a problem. He has tendency to cause religious war, if not checked. But we know him to be a confused and confusionist. No one takes his word serious. Eh, he, he, but do you know the legions of people that he, they are listening to him and they are obeying him. I think uh, you guys are beginning to understand. I think uh, when he was working for you, that is one thing with psycho fans. Ah, hey, Rufai, the relationship between us and the uh, uh, Abu Sana, the, 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 the Igbo. She, they, they are not ever going anywhere. They know they confess. Because all this nonsense talk that they... Uh, Erufai is supposed to uh, uh, is saying now. He's not supposed to be saying them. Erufai and the one man Islamic group. Okay, white animals. It is now obvious Erufai is just a religious bigot, an extremist and terrorist. When did Erufai become a kingmaker in Nigeria politics? Buhari has really ruined this country. Hmm. Akintola, who has no relevance in his hometown, now conversing for relevance in our political terrain. Murik Akisola is another Boko Haram leader in the making. Watch him out for checkmates. <laughs> Foolish and unserious Erufai. Akisola, an Igbo man, must rule Nigeria, either you like it or not. Hey, two of a kind. If Akisola, the so called Murik president, was not properly checked and cautioned, he will act more than Erufai. But thank God, Yoruba's land, Yoruba land was not like Aousa's because he is another religious fanatic. That can create chaos in the land. All of you know the shout. So the leak audio that you said leak audio that they put together of Obina. All of you were like uh, talking, talking. Okay, who is not the religious by God? Who is the ethnic by God? And not now. Hmm. How is Afulani use religion to achieve their dream? Which Professor Kintola play a very big role. That professor wants to set Yoruba brothers at each other. Okay. Hmm. Let them continue. You, Erufai, and Nakitola, two of you are not serious. Who told you that with a Christian VP, you won't even win? Erufai is aiming at something, you oh. <laughs> know. People be careful. And that is why he's speaking too much. Of course, he has inducted a Tinumbu now and their party. Religious without moral is useless and can never lead to peaceful and development. Hiding under religion to seek personal gain. And religion control can never enhance peace. A religion you are enclaved that have enclaved you enclave you for over a decade. Politicians in Western world are thinking of how to develop their country, but in Nigeria, all they talk about is religious and tribalism because they have nothing to offer. Erufai and his type are sorry cases. Instead of charting realistic pathways to sustainable development in the country, Erufai for the past few days has saturated the traditional and social media with its primitive religious ideology for goodness sake. Shana, they talk about it. At me, I talk, say, 
people should just realize that God will disgrace all of them. Who ask some question now? This one says no anything no legal. Only he won't come at they talk all these things. Then all of you who are blaming and abusing Peter B, then what do you have to say? The question is as what have you got to say with all these ones that they are coming to express themselves? They are leaking it. Oh God, Nigeria say. What is wrong uh, with uh, these uh, people in the past election? Okay. Here we are. The politicians of progressive nations are busy thinking on how to engineer their citizens into a better productive life. Ours is more of just political thoughts on winning elections. We are never going to survive for long with this selfish politicism. But eventually, Tinubu still didn't win the election. It was grossly rigged in his favor by powers that be. That is why the APC rigged the election and gave it to Tinubu. All of you cannot do well in life with all your generation after you. This is capital line. He had nothing or never support Tinubu for president. His candidate is Amechi. It's just that the game of Tinubu is more than them. I pray that he should not be given any political appointments in this government. It is not only issues of benefits, it is matter of political balance control between North and South West. Forget about Igbos, they are just one of the crowd in Nigeria. You see? <laughs> Very good. Aboki just made your points. Your hatred for Igbos won't let you go grow. You see now, all of them, they will not tell you that uh, this man is a religious by God too. I said it now, at the end of the day, now Igbo matter, now Igbo, they will bring for inside. Hmm. Those who listen to Erufai do so at their own peril. They pretend not to know him to justify their own tribalistic attitude. He has no backing in the north and religion has never been his tough. He just can't uh, stand that his game is over. Being a narcissist, he can't bear being irrelevant. He has betrayed all his godfathers that brought him to power. Tinubu should consider him a pariah. Well, they may think that uh, they have won the their permutation, but I can assure them that they are really sound losers. Everything in this story is like half lies other speculative sensations to make a wonderful story, but the story is dry. <laughs> Egyptian, you see today, you see them no more. Nobody they talk out. Is anybody did anybody come out to say, Oh, I heard that this person said this? Hmm. All this point is to the to it that APC play a religious policies. If not, why will Northern Northern not vote Northern Christian as vice and you expect Southern Christian to support Muslim Muslim tickets? The latter accused Peter Obi of playing religious policies. Make the evil you play and think it is politics uh his policies we want you. Thank you. Dean is just him saying what I really want to hear. So we between them and uh, and Peter Obi now who is not a religious by God now. <laughs> this man is due for the vengeance of the Lord to descend upon him and very soon in the mighty name of Jesus. Erufai, can you please tell us the benefits of the Muslim Muslim to the northern part of the country? Are our Muslim brothers from the north buying from a cheaper pump in our filling stations or are they, or do they have a different exchange rate from other Nigerians? Please stop deceiving and are manipulating our people with this your ethnic and religious sentiment poverty na poverty whether yoruba hausa igbo christians or muslim no 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 they don't mm, it's a pity this one is even making a statement and what other ones are talking about igbo god will help all of you